All right, so today we are going to be going over opacity and flow while using it with a brush. And you can use it for a couple of tools, but we're just going to use the brush. So notice down here I have my color set to black, and we're going to raise uh, the opacity here. 99 is fine, even though I didn't get it perfect. There we go, 100. All right, so at 100% and 100%. So opacity is actually very, is, is, different from flow and I use flow for very specific things and it usually has to do with blending inside of a mask so at 100% 100% if and we're just going to use a simple whiteboard to explain this um, if you just draw a line notice we're getting 100% black because both are at 100% so if we take this down to 77% now we're getting 70% now, if we go down to 44%, notice we're getting 44%. If we take it down to 1%, we're getting 1%. We can barely see that. All right, so let's go back up. So we're going to go to 30, 29%. So what's different about opacity and flow is this. When you take opacity and notice I'm going over this and over this and over this, and it's still staying exactly 29%. It will not build up over time. Now, if I let go of my mouse and I take this brush and do 29% again, it's going to build that area up and make it darker. All right. So you have to realize when you do use opacity, if you let go of your mouse and then you do it again, it's going to keep building up over time. All right. Not the smoothest transitions, however. So let's go to file and it's not letting us for some odd reason do revert that's okay i probably had this up for a while so that's okay just backstep it so flow so flow i usually work with a really low percentage so we'll start with two the difference between opacity and flow is flow well i'll just do this at uh 57 if i go over it once it's laying down 57 percent all right However, how you use flow usually is, is you have a really low flow. And if you go over it once, it's only getting a little bit. And then you go up and it builds. And every time that you go over it, it builds up over time until it becomes completely black and then you're at black. So what that's good for is you can slowly uh, make easier transition so you can build up this area up here more than down here and usually when you do it um, you can't see a line from where you worked in a mask of building one side to another so um, it's really really good to slowly build up things over time you can also really reduce your opacity so it builds up even slower so right here if I want to build this up slower you know, I could go over it here and make it darker and then I could come down here. And so that transition is more gradual, almost like using uh, a gradation here um, within Photoshop, except for you can control this a, little, a lot more than you can with that. So hopefully that is helpful. And that is the difference uh, between uh, opacity and flow. All right. So flow builds up over time. Um, I use flow a lot of the time when I'm trying to transition to areas uh, and make it look seamless. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you back next time.